a mega, mega Bath & Body Works haul. Um, this haul is from July 6th, which was a Monday, and that is when the new floor set came out and the two new candle collections, um, the Pop Tales collection as well as the Destinations or Perfect Getaway collection, whatever one you want to call it. Um, it's been called the Destination collection before when it's been released, so that's more than likely what I will end up calling it in this video. Um, now, how I did this, it actually worked out well with the new Pop Tales collection. Um, five new soaps were also released and I had a ton of 10 off $40 coupons. So how I did this is I did five separate ring ups and or five transactions and in each transaction I did three candles because they were on sale for 12 bucks so that was $36 and I did one soap so basically it was exactly $40 and if you want to maximize your coupons um, you want to get right at that price point and not any above it if you want to save a larger percentage um, so basically it was 30 bucks for three candles and a soap and I did that five times um, and I had gift cards and I budget because I knew, actually I budgeted quite a bit of money this month because I knew that um, London Calling was coming out, which I love. And I was super excited about the Pop Tales collection because I absolutely adored Summer Sips last year. So I knew I was going to want to get all of those from that collection. So um, to my knowledge, I got every candle that is in both of those collections. This video is just going to be the haul. And then right after this, I will upload a first sniffs and impressions of each of the candles in the collections and I will link those down below so if you want to see just the first impressions of pop tails you can watch that video if you want to see first impressions of the destination candles you can watch that one so on and so forth all right so let's go ahead and start with the destination candles um, first off I did get two London callings um, I would have only gotten one but between the two collections there were seven candles in each collection so that would have been 14 candles and since I was doing sets of three um, for my extra Extra candle you know I had to get London Calling because guys this is one of the best candles they like have ever done ever it is one of my all-time favorite candles it's in my like top five at least um, so I got two London Callings and the thing about this destinations collection is the majority of mine had just the plain Bath and Body Works lid only the Hawaii one had the neat like triangle looking tessellation lid um, and and none of the other candles in the collection had it I was tempted to like put the cool lids on the rest of the collection but I was like ah, I'm not gonna do that it's not that serious um so I don't know did all of the ones in your store have the cute lid or did just the Hawaii ones because the Hawaii the Hawaii by Hawaii I mean the actual Hawaii candle not the Hawaiian candle collection um, the Hawaii one is the only one that had the cute lid kind of weird um, so anyway I got two London tea and lemons also formerly called London calling so this is not a new scent it is a repackage and I got two of those I got one of the Amsterdam tulips and windmills definitely a floral scent I got one of the Istanbul Sparkling Amber. I got one Paris French Daydream. This one has formerly been called just Paris Daydream. Um, again, not a new scent here. I got one of New York Black Tie, um, also a repackage. This, is, this candle has been done several times as Black Tie. Um, Black Teakwood was pretty much identical. Um, so not a new, new candle here. This, is, this one is a cologne scent. I got one of the Barcelona Mandarins and Mosaics. And one of the Hawaii Aloha Passion Flower. And that is the cutest little picture there. So all of these destination ones, they are all just clear glass. They have kind of a cartoony look to them, kind of in the theme. Um, and all of them have the destination and then kind of a description of the scent um, as like the second part of the name of the candle. Um, like I said, some of them have this lid. Some of them are just a plain Bath & Body Works lid. So it just kind of depends on, you know which what your store has I guess all right so now for the pop tail collection and again I will do an in-depth video of each of the collections where I read you the scent description um, and talk about like my first sniffs and impressions this is just showing you what I got um, so I have watermelon lemonade for like the 19th hundredth time in the entire world um, I got Pink Apple Punch. This one also came out in last year's Summer Sips as well as the Watermelon Lemonade. I got Limoncello Pop Tell. This one is essentially just the Limoncello Candle Redone. I got Mango Coconut Cooler. This one also was in Summer Sips from last year. I got Island Margarita. Island Margarita literally was just out in the Tiki Beach collection. There's a fly in here. If you see him buzzing, I'm going to kill him. 
I got Spiked Cherry Lime Sickle. This one is really good. Um, basically, a lot of people have said this is uh, Cherry Blossom Sangria. I don't think it's exactly similar. This smells like a delicious Kool-Aid to me. It smells a little different. And the last one in the Pop Tales collection is Sangria Berry Freeze. All right, so those were the candles. That was the bulk of my purchase. Um, again, I did five transactions, saving 10 bucks on each transaction. So that right there saved me 50 bucks. Um, I also used, I think, uh, it was $120 worth of the Walgreens gift cards. Um, you guys have heard me talk about those over and over again. Um, so basically that was 15 free bucks that I got there. Um, so basically I got 65 bucks free just by using coupons and so on. And that's five of the candles you see um, because five times 12 is 60. So if you will get those Walgreens gift cards that give you the five extra dollars um, and my coupons were the 10 off 40s that expired on July 5th. But since there's a three day grace period at most stores, um, they let me use them the next day no problem um, and so yeah that alone saved me 65 bucks which again is like five free candles so if you're like oh my gosh how did she get that many candles that's a lot of money um, well it is but it really only cost me like 120 bucks to be honest uh, maybe a little bit more than that um, and that's a lot of stuff and that's not even all of it. Um, so really, uh, you can save a lot of money just by using your Walgreens gift cards in conjunction with your coupons. Um, and if you're not sure if your store does a three day grace period, just ask them. Um, I literally have never had an issue at all. Again, I do shop there a lot. I'm a regular and they all know me. So I don't know if that makes a difference, um, but they're usually really nice and give you no trouble with it at all. All right, so as I was saying, I did five transactions actions and I got three candles and a soap on each one because the day that these were released the first day of the floor set um, the brand new soaps were four dollars so it literally worked out perfectly to use one of those 10 off 40s um, so the first soap they were they all kind of have this gelato look to them or like the snow coney ice cream look um, they have like the wooden paddle that you use to um, you know eat ice cream with like this oh just seeing this makes me cringe like I cannot oh I cannot do wooden spoons or those little wooden paddles. Oh my gosh, something about when they touch my teeth, it just sends like a chill through my body and I'm like, oh my gosh, like it's just one of those things. Like, I don't know if you guys saw my reaction when I first saw this, I kind of stuttered. Like you can like rewind the video. When I first noticed this on the side of it, you might've noticed me like, Ugh. I, I cannot. Let me know if that is just me. I think maybe I'm a weirdo. I cannot eat off wooden spoons. I cannot do these wooden paddles. If I eat a popsicle and it has a wooden stick, I'm like trying really hard to like bite the popsicle with just my teeth and not let my lips touch the wooden popsicle stick. Something about it just makes me cringe so bad. I'm like, oh, I can't even like think about it. Like it gives me chills. Totally weird. I'm a freak. Like just let me know that I'm a weirdo. Anyway, um, the first soap is Honey Dew Cooler and it says Summer Melon and Frozen Kiwi. And the back says Light and Luscious, Fresh and Fruity, Beat the Heat with our Mouth Watering Summer Sorbets. Um, so this one, Honey Dew Cooler, is, it really smells exactly like a honeydew melon. Um, if you like honeydew melon, if you cut open like a fresh honeydew melon in the summer, that literally smells exactly like a honeydew melon. So I was excited to get this because it smells delicious. The second new soap is Pink Grapefruit Pop, and it's got a little popsicle there, and it says Juicy Grapefruit and Fizzy Tangerine. And this one definitely does smell like grapefruit more than anything. Um, very citrus smelling soap. This would be really nice in the kitchen. And how cute is that? Oh my gosh, these are like so summery. I think that's why I'm such a loser for pop tails and summer sips, that collection. Um, summer sips was the first time this collection came out and then they kind of just redone it again and called it pop tails um, and gave it like a little sorbet ice cream twist. Um, last year, it was more of just like a alcoholic drink theme. Um, it kind of is the same this year, but they gave it a little bit of a twist. Um, but it's just so summery and so cute. Like I'm such a nerd for the summery stuff. It just makes me happy. Like it makes my soul happy and it makes me think of the sunshine in the summer and like that's the time of year I'm happiest, except for fall. I love the fall, but um, yeah. So the next one is pineapple sorbet and it says iced pineapple and watermelon. And this soap 
is really just like Island White Pineapple. If you've ever gotten the Island White Pineapple Soap, it just recently came out. I believe it's still in stores. Um, just a strong pineapple soap, really summery, super cute. Um, there was also a pineapple soap that came out with the Brazil collection that I believe was called Brazilian Pineapple. Um, it was in a red bottle and it was uh, amazing. Like it literally smelled like you just cut a pineapple and had the pineapple juice on your hands. Um, this one is Strawberry Lemon and it says Sweet Strawberry and Sparkling Lemon. This packaging is literally to die for. Like, oh, it's just so cute. I'm such a loser. And I bet that this smells like strawberry. This almost smells like the watermelon lemonade soap, but definitely strawberry. So they're all like fruity scents. Like you've got grapefruit, you've got pineapple, you've got honeydew melon, you've got strawberry. They're all like berry scented fruity soaps, which I am like so all about it. I can't even tell you. Um, the last new soap was Cool Coconut Colada. It says Cool Creamy Coconut and Vanilla. And oh my gosh, it, it reminds me a lot of the Honolulu Sun soap, just a nice, sweet coconut scent. Oh my gosh, these soaps are so adorable. They are so cute. They're so bright, vibrant, very summery, very cheerful looking on your sink. Um, and they're all like fruity scents, so I am loving them. All right, and last but not least, the final three things that I got in my haul, I had three of the free travel size coupons. Um, and so they just rang those up afterwards separately. I know a lot of stores won't let you use more than one of those free item coupons in one visit but like I said I'm literally at my store like at least once a month I go there and buy like all of the candles from the new collection so you know maybe they break the rules for me I don't know but I love them so if you're watching I love you guys especially Robbie I love you um, so yeah uh, so they have these kind of new scents and they kind of have like a like beverage type spin to them. Now the thing that was annoying is I usually buy the shower gels, not the lotions, but for some reason the very first day of the floor set they said that they hadn't gotten the shower gels in and all they had was the lotions. And my thing is if I don't use those free item coupons, I forget about them and then I'm like, well crap, I could have got them for free. So like the first day of the floor set, I try to use those free item coupons so I don't forget them. So even though they didn't have the shower gels in yet, they hadn't shipped to the store yet apparently um, they did have the lotion so I went ahead and got the lotions and then usually they'll do these like three for 12 so I can always go back and get the three matching shower gels um, to go with them if I want to um, so the first one is pink lemonade fizz and they also had these in the cooling gels um, the cooling gels they had last summer as well and it's like a lotiony thing but it's more of like a clear jelly lotion it's kind of weird but it has a cooling effect now these of course are not cooling these are just regular lotions um this one smells really good it i wouldn't say it's very lemony but it's just kind of like a fruity f fruity i don't know sweet fruity scent um i wasn't too impressed with these but they were free so who cares um this one is mango tango twist and i don't know the lotions just are smelling the same to me today and the last one is guava pineapple splash and I think they had one or two other scents, but these were the three that I picked. Um, and this one smells a little different than the other two. This one actually smells, this one has a floral scent to it and guava and pineapple aren't flowers. Kind of weird, um, but there they are, the three little free items that I got. And those are, I think, five bucks, so 15 bucks for free. So again, not only did I save $50 by using five 10 off 40s, I got 15 free dollars by using my Walgreens gift cards, and then I got 15 additional free dollars by using free item coupons. So in all, that is $80 worth of free money slash items or money that I saved um, just by doing my haul in the way that I described. All right, so that is my humongous Bath and Body Works haul for the month of July. Usually, you know, the first day of the floor set when the new candles come out, I usually go and get all the new candles. Then I'm pretty much done shopping there for the month. Um, I may pop in once or twice if they have like a specific deal or a VIP bag or like semi-annual sales, a different kind of scenario. But um, I usually do like one big haul a month and then like burn through the candles before the next collection comes out. Now this double collection thing they've been doing where they're releasing two collections at once. Um, I, I believe they're going to do the same thing in August. Um, August 3rd, whatever that first Monday in August is, um, they're going to be releasing, from what I understand, um, maybe even three collections. I think they're going to be doing the newly revamped Pumpkin Cafe candles um, that are not called Pumpkin Cafe, but they were called Pumpkin Cafe last year. Um, and then their autumn fall releases. And oh my gosh, guys. Oh, 
I've been fantasizing about those candles. I am such a weirdo. Um, I will link the individual first sniffs video of each of the two candle collections down below. Um, so you can go and watch those. And in that video, I'll kind of look at each candle more in depth. Um, so that's it for this one. I will see you next time. Bye.